I know. Still have uh, about 20 minutes left of driving. I'm gonna stop at Saksvik Volden uh, near Draxen Road and then walk to Järvefjellet from there. Should be good. I'm still kind of hoping for better weather for this trip. Uh, doesn't look good at all. There is ice on there. Not much though, that will be gone in a day or so, but still, that's, that's really surprising on 5th of May. So it looks like I'm the fifth uh, party to venture out from this spot at the moment. Just parking between these two. Stay one more night. Don't you know that my love is true? Let's make things right. I understand what you're going through. Stay one more night. And I know that it's not too late. Let's make things right. You just have to believe in faith. I'm not sure if I'm on the right path. I've passed two crossings already and I've chosen more or less randomly. A couple of hills so far, but nothing hard at all. Still perfectly doable, but wet, extremely wet terrain. No idea now. Okay, there. I think there's a small path going up here. Yes, there is. Thank God for waterproof shoes. I love these shoes and this brand. It's just I think that this particular pair is too small. So it keeps kind of pinching my toes in such a way that I go numb. More snow. And moose droppings. That might be the mountain I'm going to. Possibly. So that peak ish thing over there. Oh. <laughs> Not elegant. But back in the park. Still a couple of patches of blue sky up there. Really hoping for a fairly clear moment. Oh, oh water down the neck. Clear moment when I reach the peak. Can I say peak? Top of the hill. Um, so I get a good view of the Trondheim Fjord, or at least Jonsone, which is a drinking water for Trondheim. And uh, yeah, get some good shots with a drone, maybe. A lot of moose droppings around here. This would be the area for them as well. Probably quite a lot of moose. The thing is, they aren't that far from me. They will just be basically all around here. Uh, up that hill, for instance, over there, there's a mountainous area. There, they'll be all around, but they keep their distance. As long as I'm making sound and being strange as I am at the moment, I am, after all, the foreign element here. Whoop! Bit of sliding there. 
But if you come here at night and you stay perfectly still, sit down for a while for instance, you might encounter one. So these tracks here, those are moose, actually, I think those are red deer, this hollow. This is a moose track right here, moose print. Yeah. <laughs> About 50 meters ahead of me, there is a good place to cross from this side to the other side, where I am uh, where the peak is running up from. That is probably the point to cross. So this cave has seen some stuff, it's quite fascinating. I have to go in once more. Of course in here, this right here would be a nice area to sleep. There is a geocache. It has taken quite a lot out of me actually. Um, just these increments, these steps, you know. This is not a steady slope, it's, it's those really high steps. Me being a heavy guy, short feet. There you go. And that is quite lovely, I have to say. signing the book now, turns out I'm the second one today, so I'm gonna try to go down there somewhere, hopefully find a dirt road fairly quickly. 
This is exactly the same Marshall Boggy stuff that I had on the way up, so no better. So a bit longer and a bit more strenuous than I thought, but all in all, of course, you will never regret. Never regret. No regret. A road. Finally, my feet hurt. 7.3 kilometers from where I exited the woods and to the car. Feet hurt so incredibly bad. Oh, I'm tired and it's 11 p.m. I think. Oh, that's it. That's the car. Goodbye.